Hello, my name is Roman Oborka. I am the developer of the Kame PSFX system. The Kame PSFX system um, predicts insulin dose based on a mathematical model of glucose regulation. So inside the Kame PSFX, there's a model which predicts what's going to happen to glucose over the period of the next two and a half to four hours. That prediction is made based on the information what happened in the past. So we know how much insulin was given, we measured glucose values, and this information together with the individualized parameters of the, of the, of the, of the person using it are used to make the prediction. So the parameters will be such as the insulin sensitivity, the duration of insulin action, and also some of the information which feeds into that, um, into that prediction, also the amount of carbs, which is used by the user. But without, without the model, you can imagine is that all the input what happened in the past is used to, to make a prediction of what's going to happen in the future, but also what, what feeds into that prediction is also the plan, what we plan to do for the next two and a half hours. So the, what, what happened in the past is fixed, but what happened in the future, we can modify it in terms of insulin delivery. So the system will try different scenarios of insulin delivery, and it will select the one which leads to the uh, desired glucose trajectory, trajectory. So it doesn't go too quickly down. Uh, it goes just down in the right phase if glucose is high or recovers quickly when glucose is low. The model which is, which is inside there, as I mentioned, has a number of parameters uh, and they are individualized. In fact, there is actually a number of models, um, and these models differ in certain expectations, such as how quickly glucose is absorbed or how quickly insulin, um, insulin acts. And based on looking at the past data, the system will assign to each of the model a probability. Probability how likely that model fits that specific subject. Then for the, for the prediction into the future, these models are combined. So those models which have a higher probability um, are, are used by the, um, by the calculation as those who are more likely to lead to the correct predictions. But it's, it's a combination of these probabilistic um, um, inclusion of these models um, in the prediction, which ultimately um, will, um, will calculate insulin dose. So once this relatively complex uh, uh, calculation is happening, as I said, we, we analyze the information, we try to understand which model is the right one for the future, and then we use them for predict and assign the right, um, find the right insulin dose. Uh, we get a value for insulin delivery. There's one more layer on that, and it is that uh, is the safety layer. Um, so there are a number of rules and number of constraints which are um, um, aimed to pre prevent um, a risk of, or reduce the risk of hypoglycemia. And these rules will be generally reduce the insulin dose. So for example, there's a maximum limit uh, for the insulin delivery. Uh, also there's a limit that there needs to be a minimum insulin gave over a certain period of time. And also um, um, is trying to look at the um, issues about um, insulin stacking. So this is the summary. The algorithm includes a model, models make a predictions, um, and following the prediction, there's also safety layer. Thank you for listening.